Monomies, it's your favorite monster, Anneli Monster here and in today's video I would like to show you how I keep my Monster High accessories, diaries and collectible cards sorted and organized. But I have to say that these are not all of my accessories as most of the accessories are displayed with my dolls. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Now I have several storage boxes as you can see. I have my collectible cards that came with the dolls in the past in a binder like this. And this binder is especially made for collectible cards which you can tell by the size of the pockets. My cards are sorted by doll lines but other than that there are no other criteria for the presentation for me. I have stored all of my diaries in a grey basket and I know that it's not the best way to keep them organized but unfortunately I can't do it any other way at the moment because I don't have a binder with pages that have the fitting or right sized pockets for the diaries. Then I showed you how I actually keep my really small accessories like jewelry organized. For these I have two smaller plastic boxes that have two sections. In the first plastic box I showed you, you can see headpieces in one compartment and a bag with random stuff and necklaces in the other. Oh and before I forget I have to mention that I unfortunately don't really remember where I got my plastic boxes from. But you can probably find such boxes for a reasonable price on Amazon nowadays. In the second box I have a fabric bag with random stuff again, but there are mainly bracelets and leg jewelry inside of the two compartments. For larger pieces I have toolboxes and cases to keep everything sorted. I have usually sorted the compartments so that I can find everything very easily. For example I have all of my Monster High balls in one compartment and all of my Monster High notebooks and my magazines in another. As you can see I also have my Monster High clothes in a plastic carrying case but I don't have any further structure regarding it. Literally all of my Monster High clothes are in this box. From pants to dresses everything is inside of this carrying case. Blankets and pillows are also in the box so generally I have everything made out of fabric in there. And last but not least, I also have a very large toolbox that contains all my big accessory pieces. The concept of the box and its presentation is the same just like with all other boxes. But since the box is large, the compartments are correspondingly large and spacious. And this is what the box looks like from the inside. 
And if you're wondering where I have my Monster High furniture, if I don't have it on display, I have it safely stored away in a box in a storage room. There you have it. This is how I keep a certain basic order in my Monster High accessories. Please leave a few tips and tricks in the comments if you have any suggestions on how I can get an even better overview of my accessories. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it and I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye!